Hey everyone, I'm back. So I have washed my face with our Shine Wipes so I could get all the makeup off of my face. Okay, so what we are gonna do, once again, start out with your primer. And this is a big, big, big thing you wanna do when you do your makeup. Because as I said, it makes your Makeup lasts a lot longer. My hair is not down, but like I said, you can rub it through your hair and it helps with any flyaways and it gives you extra shine. Okay, so now that that is on, I'm going to take our concealer brush. There we go. And I use Velour Concealer. So I'm going to go ahead and give you a demonstration of how well this stuff works. So you want to touch on the areas that you need touched up. So of course, you're going to do the under eyes. And I usually start with doing a V shape. You don't have to use this. You can actually use your blending buds or your finger if you like. But the more that you put your fingers on your face, the more oily your skin is going to be. So I use the brush. So already, and it's hard to make sure I'm blending it right by looking into a phone. You can see the difference already in my under eye. It looks so much better once you do it and do an actual mirror, but for demonstration purposes, and you don't need a ton. So this stuff lasts you for a while. You just need a little bit. So you do the other eye. And I usually bring it up a little bit too. And just blend. Blending is a big key. Anything you do with your makeup, you don't want to have it not blended because then it's going to look absolutely hideous. And I'm just going to do that real quick since it's hard. So there, that's my under eyes. And then I usually end up touching up down here. See the spot that was there? Don't really see it anymore. And I'm going to show you the blending bud. I'm going to do my nose as well. That's the one I always do. And if I have any little imperfections here, I'll use that as well. I'm going to do my nose with the blending bud. Just blend it on up. That's just with concealer. It's pretty amazing, I think. So, that is concealer. That is our touch skin perfecting concealer. And what I'm gonna actually really do is do the whole entire face for you real quick. So you see. So then you go back to the BB after you have put on your concealer and just depending on what I'm doing sometimes I'll put the BB cream on before and then I'll go highlight the areas that I need covering up with the concealer right afterwards Just 
make sure you're blending. it up with a powder. And you can use our powder brush, which is what I usually do, but unfortunately I forgot it downstairs. I don't feel like running down there to get it. So just blend. Now, check out the coverage. No, it's that simple. And then you can follow up with any blush you want. And the way that you can bond your lines is you can do your fish face right here. And then you can do a whatever eyeshadow you like. And then you can use our 3D Fiber Lash Mascara. So next, I will be teaching you how to use our Touch cream foundation to show you the coverage on that. The BB cream is a lightweight coverage which I always usually follow up with my powder. The powder is um, a good coverage and then this is a very heavy coverage. So if you have um, like rosacea, um, lots of acne, it seems like when you turn 30 like I have, you end up getting a lot of acne. Welcome to your 30s. Um, luckily, I do use our Illuminate um, cleanser. I use the clear, which is for dry skin, which I have a lot of dry skin. Um, and they also make one um, for you know combination skin and so forth. So there's two different kinds. There's clear and clean. Um, the white one is the one I use, which is a clear. So I always use that one. And it really does not dry out your skin and it really helps with any acne. Um, luckily right now I don't have a ton and wash my face every night so um, that is all for this video but I will make another one just showing you the um, the coverage with this powder. So anyway if you have any questions please let me know. Alright bye!